Alright, I'm done at the Hotel Coliseum, which was absolutely lovely. Perfectly nice, reasonably priced hotel. They were super nice in there, actually. They, uh, they had that nice terrace, which I liked, and the room was clean and safe, and it was all good. I highly recommend, if you want a reasonable priced hotel, 40 quid a night, $50, at the Hotel Coliseum is on your list. Great location if you want to be downtown. So it was good like that. I'm off now to the Grand Cheval, Chavieux, something, hotel. A reasonably priced five-star hotel to see how that compares. The Hotel Coliseum was 40 quid, $50. And this one I'm going to is $100, about 80 quid. So we'll see how it compares. Only main issue is it's seven kilometers north. I'm gonna walk it because I, I just my working class brain cannot accept the fact that taxes exist. But also, what if I miss out on some something fantastically Turkish on the route? I never forgive myself. But it's funny at the Hotel Coliseum I missed breakfast one morning and the really nice lady that worked there said basically I'll go fix you a plate so she went to fix me a plate of breakfast however <laughs> the plate consisted of cheese cucumber and watermelon which happened to be my three least favorite foods in the entire world so to be polite I didn't want to be rude I wanted to make it look like I've eaten some of it so I was wearing my hoodie and I, uh, I left breakfast that morning with a, a pocket full of watermelon and cheese. It's very kind of her though. Good people. But I've set out a bit early to try and beat the sun because uh, it was real hot yesterday. So seven miles, what's that like, 5K? No problem, we can do that. Just with my luggage. Yeah. Onward! And I'm painfully aware that every wrong turn I take adds to that distance. So I'm going to attempt to not get lost. Again. Yeah, I took a wrong turn. Now I'm lost. And I got sidetracked through a Turkish market. So what? It's no big deal. I can solve this. It's all part of my joyous, boyish charm. Bloody hell. I'm through the worst of this, I think. I'm, I'm making it across the Katakoi Bridge, which means I'm about a quarter of the way there. At least it's nice and fresh. I do want to make one quick pit stop before we go to the hotel. Unfortunately though, it's, uh, it's uphill. Very uphill. <sighs> yep. Uphill. All right. That's the Galata Tower. Galata? Galatia? Not quite sure. But it's one of the oldest towers in the world. It was built in the 6th century as a lighthouse, which makes sense because it's by the water. It's still standing now, even though it's had numerous issues. I think the Crusaders tried to knock it down and then they rebuilt it with some more masonry. But yeah, it's a sight to behold. One of the oldest towers in the world. Cool. Right, that's the tourist spot done. On with the walking. Oh, thank God. There it is. <laughs> oh, it's a bit fancy.
a Rico. It's pretty fancy. This might be the fanciest place. This is the fanciest hotel I think I've ever been in. Not that I've been in many fancy hotels, but still. I mean, I don't even know what this room is. Or why it's here. <laughs> There's a printer, but oh wow! Well. There's a jewelry shop and a full-on tailor's here. Why would you need a tailor's? I suppose some people are like. Well, why wouldn't you need a tailor's? Of course. <laughs> There's a tailor's. There's a swimming pool and a boat. That's how you know it's fancy. Does your hotel have a boat? Didn't think so. Right, it's a bit dark in here. Let's see what this five-star hotel has got to offer. And yes, I know I have to put the camera there. I've already been in, my passport's down. It's fine. It was meant to be cinematic. I'm trying my best. Let's have a look at this. Five-star Turkish hotel in Istanbul with a big boat outside Which its name I keep on forgetting but it's fine. It's a nice room. I like it Look at this TV I probably won't touch it, but it's there There's an ashtray in my room Which is the first time I've ever seen an ashtray in a hotel room in my entire life, I think Okay, let's try this. I don't know whether it's just that I am really tired now or what, but this bed is gonna be great. I'm excited about that. How many lamps? One, two, three. Are these lamps? No. Merely decorative. Tea, a kettle, some coffee and stuff. Hello. Bathroom. Now, this is something I like about the bathroom. Hold on. No, 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 yeah. It's like I'm in the movie Blade. Bathtub. I'm gonna be using the bathtub. Toilet and phone next to the toilet. Now that is a luxury of which I can't even begin to fathom. Imagine having a call that important. It's not for the likes of me. That's your executives doing that. I like the room, it's nice. We'll do a bit more exploration of the hotel. Have a look around, see what's there. There's meant to be a gym. I've done my cardio for the day, but I wouldn't mind going to the gym. Have a look around. There's a menu for, there's room service, but there's also a menu for spa stuff. And I wouldn't mind a massage. I've only ever had two massages in my entire life. So maybe I get a massage? I don't really like being touched, but maybe that's what we do. It is Turkey after all. That's, don't they do? Isn't that something that Turkey's, no, you know, it's fine. All right, I'm gonna get settled in. I need to get some food and then we'll see how it goes. But also I was gonna get the airport shuttle because the one to my, the Hotel Coliseum was perfectly reasonable. It's like $35, which is as basically as cheap as you can get it. But here it's $55, 55 euros. Also, why are we charging euros? I'm from the UK and this is Turkey. Why are we going through this middleman of euros? I don't understand. 
But uh, it's like 55 euros here, so I'm gonna just go to the street and get in the taxi. So I've also got Turkish Lira that I don't really wanna take home, so that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. All right. <laughs> I've uh, I've called and I'm gonna go have a back and neck massage. It's 40 minutes long and it's gonna be about 15 pounds, so about $20. And I am really nervous. Here goes nothing. Okay, massage is done. I feel like I've been assaulted quite viciously and she did laugh at my back because it was crunching so much. Also, she asked for a tip, which was fine, but you know, I'm British. All right, all that's left really. It's time for pop and a bar, so let's do it. For pop and a bar today, we have this Maltana which I think is pineapple flavored. There is a pineapple on the front of it. Are you filming? Yes. So also, bottle opener. So, well, I want a corkscrew. Just what I needed. All right, let's try this. Maltana, I want it to be malty. Malty is what I want, not necessarily pineapple -y. But let's go for it. Wow. It's fizzy. It's not too sweet, which is good because it's pineapple and it's pineapple-y. It's nice, I like it. Mm. Okay. Solid seven or eight out of 10, I like that. Now this was my bar. I know it's not a bar, but so me. I'm gone with it because it looked creamy. It's what I wanted the other night when I got that Turkish cheese cake dessert thing that was full of mozzarella that I didn't enjoy. Now I have refrigerated this. I've tried to keep it refrigerated because it looks like it needs to be in a fridge. So, yeah. It's goopy. <laughs> Is it flan? Is that what it is? I bloody hope so. Either that or just some massive creme brulee. <sighs> Let's try it. Okay. There's some rigidity to it. Hmm. It's rice pudding. Yeah. It's rice pudding. Like a baked rice pudding. Which is good. I love rice pudding. Heck yeah. Mmm. Okay. See? Rice pudding. Fantastic. This gets a solid eight. Eight and a half because there's a lot of it. Pop and bar. I do need some real food though. Do I feel like I'm getting the five star experience? Yes, and I'll tell you why, great question, thanks for asking. Because, you know, it's not often I take a bath. I've got my modesty bubbles, I've got my can of FA's extra shot 9% beer to help me remember that I'm working class and shouldn't get used to these type of things and I don't really deserve it. But also, that massage left me feeling like I've been thrown down a flight of stairs. So, this, is helping. Don't get too used to it, Matthew. Wow. That is strong. I use the word strong instead of the word good. Oh my god, I could order room service. It's going to my head. <laughs> To Istanbul and a few really good days here. I ordered room service for the first time in my entire life. 
I've got a hamburger. <laughs> Not a particularly traditional meal to be finishing on, but hey. Thank you for joining me on this Turkish adventure to Istanbul. I've had a good time, learnt a few lessons, definitely. And if you like these videos, I went to Kosovo. There's a whole series about Kosovo and more videos to come in the very near future. So thank you so much. And until next time, thanks for watching everybody. Bye. That's a lot of pickles.